I'm James Knight, and I'm shooting the uh, performances here at the opening of Artists Art in the Streets at MoCA. I'm expecting uh, Buto dancers, uh, performers, and uh, and uh, I'm not sure what else. I expect the security folks are probably going to try to push it around. There's actually some strategy in being covered in paint and cornstarch. Nobody really wants to tackle you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Todd, a.k.a. Art Criminal. Uh, we're doing some buto tonight in protest to the supposed edgy street artists who are continuing with doing their show despite the fact that one of their friends was completely censored out of the show after completing his mural on the side of the building. kind of makes people like Shepard Ferry and others kind of look rather bourgeois and like they're really not about what they're supposedly about in this edgy scene that's out there trying to take the streets and, and uh, make a statement. So are you going to be doing something across the street at Mocha? Yeah, protests. Eve's Klein Blue. <laughs> what is Buto? Um, it's kind of an indefinable medium that came out of Japan in the uh, 60s and 70s. It's an embracing of death, kind of the dark half of oneself. So somewhere between performance art and death. I'm Khadija Anderson. I'm a poet and a Buto artist. The deal was that when the art in the streets show was was uh, started, it began with Blue, the international Italian graffiti artist, going and painting the whole back of the Mocha Geffen. He painted it with an anti-war mural, and it went up, and then the, the uh, leadership at Mocha decided to paint over it. So we consider that censorship because it was an anti-war mural, and apparently it didn't fit in with their scheme of what should be art or what should be street art, and especially because it, that wall faces the federal building, so I believe it was a political motivation. Totally suspicious.
kind of tepid. Tepid. I think of word.